Welcome everybody to Roll Die for Adventure presents Cyberpunk. I'm Kirk, playing Red Eye, a net running angsty woman. <laughs> and I'm Jason. I'm playing Cavalry. He's a, a, a somewhat primarily legit lawman. <laughs> She's just in it for the Benjamins, yo. And I am Scott. I'm known as Fiberpunk on a few servers, but um, uh, mostly I'm just the guy that you're stuck with tonight. <laughs> nice. See, I thought now we. I, I I thought he was stuck with us. That's what I we thought too. I thought he was stuck with us. <laughs> We have a stowaway who just wandered into into the room. Fine. Testing. Oh, okay. Testing. Can Zara hear us? Shannon? Yes. Can you hear me? Yep. yep. Yes, we absolutely can. I don't think I had audio on Twitch. Okay. Okay, we're good. That was my daughter, Evie, who is supposed to be being watched by someone else, and so hopefully she won't come back in. <laughs> I love her, but I, I, I have ADHD a little bit. <laughs> Mama Question. needs a break. <laughs> Does she roll dice better than you do? Yes. Because uh, Shannon is kind of infamous for her bad dice rolls. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Not everyone tuning in may know that, and um, I don't say that often. <laughs> I'm I'm a I, close second. I, rec I recommended uh, Kill Sector to you guys a couple of years back, specifically because I wanted to see if Shannon was going to roll those natural ones. And she rolled a. Uh huh. <laughs> I still she remember did. on a different <laughs> game where I rolled like a critical hit to heal people, then they're like, okay, roll for how much uh, you heal them. And it was out of 100. I think I rolled a three. And then I died. <laughs> yeah, and the well, person whole... you healed the next turn took five points of damage. <laughs> I, rem I remember that. <laughs> I think everybody died. In, 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 I think my first character died in like the first five seconds of the game. We didn't settle on a. We didn't pick out a, a theme music, did we? No, no we and I don't help. have anything uploaded to Twitch, so I don't know if that'll work. Unless we'll you pay it through it. your mic. Okay. Uh, Jason, quick, hum something. Um. Da 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 uh, and watch Disney come after us now. You, are, you have 30 seconds of audio that's been muted by Twitch. Disney is your owner. They are your overlords. <laughs> it can happen. I uh, was watching a Twitch um, player. She, she wrote her own song. She put it, she uploaded it to uh, to YouTube and Spotify. She sang a cover of it during a karaoke stream and she got copyright struck. <laughs> really? For her know. own song. Yeah. Yeah, it yeah, the bots copyright copyright struck her. It happened to uh Eurobeat Odyssey. That's a bunch of bullshit. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Holy shit. Okay, um, you guys are new to the game, but you're not completely new to the game because we did uh, test play a couple of uh, short one-offs, and um, during that time, uh, you learned uh, about your roll abilities, you learned about the uh, core dice mechanics. Do we have any rules questions before we move forward? 
with our first streamed session. You're going to have to reiterate every single thing as we're playing. <laughs> yeah, it's been, a, it's been a few months. Just tell me what to roll, and I'll give you your ones. Okay. <laughs> can, can we just assume ones then from you? <laughs> yeah, just probably. Have to roll, we'll just assume I ones. I have all my dice out <laughs> to eventually put them away because they're failing me. Uh, keep a D10 handy because I we know you, you're not going to do any damage, so that's all you're going to need. <laughs> oh! <laughs> My I can't, ouch. cyberpunk dice. I can't even be mad. <laughs> no, you can't. Um, in the what? uh, yeah, in the play test, uh, I think that you did get. The, I did think that you did score the only kills, though. Yeah. <laughs> Murder I is great. I, I was gonna say. I thought I had. Well, maybe I was just injured people i i had one because no, no. we we had to kill them secretly <laughs> was that and they were and monster yeah they were they were him and han these two were him and han and i was like <laughs> yeah he just came up behind him <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was the 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 mercenary at the the brother's house yep Okay, until we come up with a better name, I'm going to keep using the same uh, name for this campaign uh, that we were already using, which was a dark and stormy night city. Because I haven't thought of anything better. That, that works for me. Okay. Now, uh, it has been um, a period of time uh, since uh, your... Uh, last uh, get together. Not as much time as in real life, but it's been about a week. So that gives you guys opportunity to accomplish a little anything that you want to do in downtime, if you had an idea. And if not, there is a there are some charts here in the rule book, which are called your hustle, and you can earn a few euro dollars that way. So I, I want to hustle. Oh, okay, I'll wait. <laughs> nope, we are going straight to the solo hustle. <laughs> I would like a roll of a six-sider, please. One. Arky or everybody? Uh, everybody who's performing, who wants to roll on the hustle chart. I got a four. Also okay. a four. Okay. That didn't sound like a one. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> seem like an important role. It's not. <laughs> uh, the hostels do not pay. They pay you something, but they don't pay as well as going on actual missions. Mm -hmm. so the system kind of uh, gives you that uh, boot to the butt to get you out the door. A four on the solo hustle for Zara, uh, who is currently roll rank five. Didn't everybody go up a rank? I think yep. so. Yeah. Okay. You were hired out as muscle to a fixer, corp, or gang. And this earned you 200 eddies. Oh, that'll get me one fake burger. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Arky, you got a four as a rank five net runner, correct? Correct. All right. You found a valuable data cache in an abandoned system and Ooh. sold it for 300 eddies. I'm in the money! <laughs> yeah. Keep in mind, in a couple of weeks, uh, rent's going to be due, and that's going to cost you a 1000 Rent's due, motherfucker! <laughs> I've played this to escape reality, Scott. 
and saying I didn't do a side hustle. I didn't do a solo hustle. I actually went into the office and worked on any cases that I would have had open or walked the beat that I was uh, that I was uh, assigned to, to do with being a lawman. Lame. I know. Actually, does fit the description of a lawman's hustle. Oh, for uh, God. <laughs> And you did specify that you were mostly honest, which frankly was a surprise to me. I thought that you would have been over 50% dishonest. <laughs> but what did you roll on your stick cider, Jason? Uh, I didn't roll one because I didn't, I didn't, wasn't planning on doing this, this solo. So I rolled a two. You rolled a two. Your job as a rank five lawman is that you got a reward from a grateful citizen. Or was it a bribe? Yeah, that's illegal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Campaign contribution. And also, your, uh, your personal, um, car that, uh, you, uh, sort of looted. Um, it's been in the shop. Uh, it's been fixed up now. Uh, you can pick that up anytime that you want. And your uh, armor got shot up, but you need to go to the tech in order to pick that up. And that's going to be our first scene tonight. Because a tech is building you new armor. Ooh. That's uh, equivalent to what you had in terms of its stats, its stopping power. But this time around, you guys get to specify its appearance. And the armor is pretty darn advanced until you get into the uh, really heavy stuff. Which is basically just a Cadillac strapped to your chest. Yeah. The nice. So, yeah, it can look like um, it can take on any appearance that you want. The book even says that the Kevlar armor can be anything from a full suit to a uh, bikini. <laughs> Red eye don't wear no bikini. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> no. You... Red Eye is probably wearing the uh, Netrunner bodysuit. Right. If I remember correctly. Yeah, that's my favorite armor in the game. It has not bad stopping power, and it's one of those high tech materials that uh, become that turns steel hard um, when impact affects it, but the rest of the time it's completely flexible. So yours can really look like anything you you want nice yeah there's not much healing in this game but the armor kicks butt <laughs> so you Let's want see. us to describe what we're picking uh next i'd like jason to describe what he's picking out because sure. he's been rolling his um uh police issued uh riot armor mm. but uh this is his opportunity to get a uh, set of civvies, something that doesn't look like uh, a cop uniform, if he wants that. I smell cop. <laughs> oh, we've just been photobombed. <laughs> That's my youngest, Allie. Make her pick out your outfit. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I want it to be blue and pink like her sucker. <laughs> what flavor is your sucker? I figured as much. Cotton candy is oh, yeah. the flavor of the sucker. <laughs> Saw that coming. <laughs> All right. So um, my armor. Yes. I don't, if, if you were, if you recall from the, I think our first or second episode that we did in the pregame, I wore a duster. Well, my new civvy armor is going to be basically a full length duster. And then the, uh, it'll have like an under vest as well. That's, uh, kind of doubles up as, um, 
a, a chest plate. You're going full cowboy. Yes, yes, I am. Outstanding. Okay. Uh, Shannon, uh, what did uh, Zara request her new armor to look like? So she has this long Matrix style coat that she wants to keep normal. So underneath that, I'm thinking kind of like a cat suit type bodysuit thing. Not for looks, but just for movement. <laughs> Black. Red highlights. <laughs> you're wearing <laughs> you're wearing a medium armor jack, is that right? If you say so. Where do I find that? <laughs> It says light armor jack. Light armor jack. Okay. Then it's going to be another light armor jack. Yes. That doesn't imp impede your movement at all. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, that does leave. Uh, Arky? All right. What is so mine is going to be, since the red eye is kind of like a full body... It looked like a full body kind of armor thing. Yeah. Um, I was going to have mine be red or black with red highlights, but I can't be a twin. Twinning. <laughs> Sorry. So hey, you mine got is going to be. Now. Mine's going to be black with. Uh, pink highlights, but it's gonna have like a smiley face on it with a bullet hole in the middle of the forehead and two X's for the eyes. And then on this side, it's gonna say Hack the Planet after Red Eye's favorite movie. So pretty understated oh and the smiley face is gonna be on the back big so as i'm i'm running away or the last thing the person dying sees is the smiley face face also in pink sure okay visualizing that Okay, uh, so you come to an abandoned office building in the old combat zone, and this is where Red Eye's contact uh, is holed up. Now, uh, this contact it goes by the handle of Kilroy Beta, and... Um, you know that Kilroy used to be a net runner back in the day, back in uh, uh, the 2020s, uh, before the old net collapsed, and he witnessed the old net's collapse, and he hasn't been the same since. He's one of the survivors of it. And he's a little paranoid now. Uh, but he's uh, both a net runner and a tech, and he... Uh, has agreed to uh, make some armor for you. Um, he's repaying an old favor, so it's already paid for. All you have to do is show up and pick it up. And you're there. How do Kilroy, you there? homie. What's happening, Chum? Okay. Uh, you have to go down into the basement. Uh, you hear someone moving around down there. Uh, but you, but uh, the lights are all dark, and you did not get receive an answer. Kilroy, all three of you. You finally, uh... um, you finally receive an answer, and is and he says, "Nobody's home." <laughs> 
I'm going to side eye red eye and be like, this is the guy that you found. It's red eye, you kook. I'm envisioning John Malkovich from Red. Yes. <laughs> I need two factor authentication. I'm going to okay, pound on the wall and go one, two. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's definitely you. Come downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Come downstairs. There's you see an old hacker huddled over, huddled over a over a screen. He greets you with his standard greeting. He says, "Kilroy Beta is here." Kilroy Beta was everywhere. Como arigato, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> What's up, Kilroy? You got the I, shit, I... man? Oh, yeah. The the, cus the custom armor? Yeah. Yeah, I got to uh, uh, use these new titanium threads that I was stocking. Ooh. Here, do you like this? Do you like this? And he shows the duster with the vest. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is guaranteed. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's not guaranteed. Here, take it, take it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. If it, if it doesn't work, uh, you're fucked. <laughs> okay, it's and uh, these outfits, they come with pants, boots. Uh, he went above and beyond. And nice. Then he shows off the uh, uh, the Netrunner's bodysuit, and it has all of the interfaces, and it has a dial, so it will uh, glow pink, yellow, any RGB color you want in the highlights. That's right, baby. Give that. Come to Papa. Come to Mama. Come to, <laughs> to whoever. <laughs> Red eye. Red eye. Are, are you busy? Are you busy? Depends on what do you need. I, 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 I have some software. I have some software for your cyber deck. New stuff. I designed it myself. I just, I, I, I woke up in the ice filled bathtub and I was like, oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> I got new programs for you. Red Eye, that sounds legit. You should definitely take him up on that offer. I, 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 how much? Well, all right. What are you offering? A dollar. Are you a dollar? Yeah. Do, do, do I look like a capitalist to you? Do I... <laughs> What do you want, my man? Do I look like a capitalist to you? I barter! I barter! Untraceable! Okay, so what can we do for you in exchange for my my new uh, software? I want a bottle of vodka. A Ooh. bottle of vodka. That's pricey. Not, not the cheap stuff. Not, not the cheap stuff. Not that smash. Nothing that's made in anybody's backyard. The good stuff, it has to be imported from the Neo-Soviets. Okay. You bring so me one bottle. One I bottle. I get you the bottle. That's shelf. And I will give you uh, uh, three new programs for your cyber deck. Assault, defense, and a boost. Good stuff. There's a corporate. Right. There is. There's a. Uh, 
there's a corpo party that's happening in a, a day from now. Sav Oil is throwing it. The north of Night City, out in the old, uh, uh, in the area that they, that they used to call the, uh, 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 uh the winery part of California. Napa. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That's it. How did you know? What I do you like, know about it? I like wine. I like vodka. I believe that about you. I like money. I like cocaine. <laughs> Okay, so that's happening. I don't care how you get. I, I I don't care how you do it. I don't care how you do it. But they're bringing in a lot of booze. And all you want is one bottle. One bottle. One bottle. Plus the bottle right. I steal for myself. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I might have to take one for myself too. Cover your ears. Boy Scout. Earmuffs. <laughs> I'm going to be looking for some tequila. Uh, they're, they're corpos. They're execs. They, they're, they're, they're crazy, man. They're crazy. They're not sane. They're not like you and me. And the lizard people. No, they... These guys, these guys are crazy. lizard people. Don't you think some you of the execs them? are the lizard people? I would always nah, stop nah, that. No, nah, the execs are puppets. I bet you a bottle of vodka. There's some lizard people execs. I'll take that bet. <laughs> so you now owe me two bottles of vodka. One of us way has to, to go, prove Z. one way or the other. <laughs> and I will pay way you. Way to go, Z. I will pay you in favors and repairs for any additional bottles that you bring me. Because hmm. one bottle, one bottle lasts me a month. I, I'm a lightweight. I'm gonna good shit, so. look at Red Eye and Cavalry and be like, so a case, right? Case should be enough. That's what I that's what I was thinking. You got we it. We just gotta figure out a way. We gotta figure out a way to get the case out of there without being seen. Kilroy. I would like to take you, this deal and I'll hold my hand out. Why are you still in my basement? What are you looking for? A handshake or a hug. Oh. No, you might have germs. <laughs> yeah. oh. I'll lick my palm and smile and go to walk up the stairs. Do you touch the doorknob with your licked palm? Of course I do. Okay, he screams. <laughs> <laughs> I think Zara would just just to fuck with him. Yeah. Okay, this is your planning phase now. Um, it you guys can get uh this bottle of imported vodka from any Target that you want, but your client did um like give Target you a the store. That was my they first thought till I realized. Wow. <laughs> I think that's an inspiration point right there. <laughs> for pure comedy. Well, here's an inspiration point for you. You 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 guys notice that that Killery didn't speci specify the size of the bottle. Nope. He just said a bottle. Well, I think your your logic here is absolutely hilarious, and I would love to go along with it. He <laughs> did just give us all, like, full suits of armor. Yep. Maybe True. we should trick him with a mini-fridge-sized one and then present the real one. 
There we go. So I, 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 I like that. Fuck with the with the old man with brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am a little bit neutral. No, I, I love it. <laughs> I think it would be hilarious just to find like one of those little shooter style mm -hmm. bottles and it's here, here's your bottle <laughs> as <laughs> promised. We agreed on a bottle. <laughs> yep. You didn't specify size. So do we know anything about this executive get together or do we just know it's happening? Well, let's see here from previous notes. It's a, uh... Unless the things have changed, um, it's a party thrown by a saw of oil. It's a megacorp. Uh, it's in a renovated house outside Night City in the California's wine country. Changed. <laughs> it's changed. changed. <laughs> so, Red Eye, do you think you could hack some systems and uh, get us an invitation? I don't know how all that is fancy the, computer stuff works. Is the Pope Catholic? I don't know. You're Hasn't he been pope? dead a long time? Probably. It's just a saying I heard. <laughs> well, you, you know what? The the way I think that we can get this out is if like we 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 um, disguise ourselves as caterers or something like that, and we we bring in wheel in like a, a a a cart that's got like a false bottom or a false false cavity or something like that in it and then we wheel it into where they're serving the the food and we put the put the liquor in there and cover it all back up and then we wheel it right back out none of those highfalutin execs ever look at the help i like your thinking it's also so in a movie that I, is... the, an old old time movie that i saw uh, when i was growing up just take the idea. Take credit. <laughs> My question is, how am I going to get in there with caterers clothes with all my my rig, my, my stuff hooked up? Well, you could be in the false bottom, and then when we have the loot, it's your problem to figure out how the fuck to get out. Isn't your cyber deck inside a lunchbox? Yep. But I need my goggles. We could sneak the goggles in. You, 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 you're, you're, you're a, a a server that um, um, has has cybernetic implants for their eyes, and you need the goggles in order to be able to uh, identify the 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 people that are going to be getting the 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 right food. Good plan. I won't remember any of it. <laughs> I think, because I'm also going to want my bow. So I think we go in there with the cart with the false bottom, have all of our shit stashed in there, and while we're in there, we figure out a way to get out. You know? So we'll have the gear, we'll have everything stuffed in the cart, and we can maybe find a back door. All right. My question uh, is... The, they say, too, that uh, no plan survives Never mind, I don't contact. have a question. What's your question? Do we, you all have the goggles that are infrared? No. Like night vision? Nope. Okay. Well, shit, because I was just going to blow the lights out in the place. But, you know, I think it'd be quite hilarious trying to see you guys get out while I'm just walking away. You could probably right. even stuff some of the some some hors d'oeuvres or whatever in your lunchbox. I give you five minutes to make it to settle on a plan. All right, so we go in the false bottom, and, and then find a way out while we're there, right? Right. So Zara will shoot out because I know Zara. I don't mind and killing Cavalry a couple will be of like, rich people. Stop! I'm a policeman! Don't go anywhere! You can make fun all you want, but Calvary's gotten us out of a stitch or two. 
So have you, honestly. I guess I'm just here to, uh... <laughs> Are you eye candy? Is that what you're here for? Your Fuck eye no. candy? I'm here to take my cut. <laughs> One thing we will need you to do, though, Red Eye, is we're going to need you to figure out the who the if there's more than one company or if it's a single company or whatever. Need to figure out who's going to be doing or who's doing the catering, so that way we can get um, or try to get uniforms as close as possible to uh, their their uniforms. How about we just do some super spy shit, run up behind three of them and karate chop them in the back of the neck? It always worked in those movies. Not in Spaceballs, it didn't. Nope. What are you doing? The Vulcan neck pinch? No, oh, no, no, you no, gotta no, get a neck pinch. You gotta get a neck pinch. That's it. <laughs> Much too high. <laughs> I love how we all go into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, we, we, we could do that, but could Calvary get the details on it? Like for could you say you were doing um security overview? Are you that high up it's, in the cop shop? I, I'm I'm not, plus it's outside of our jurisdiction, so well, we wouldn't have plans for that <laughs> since it's outside of Night City. I guess Once it's all up to Red Eye. It's all up to you, Red Eye. Get us all that can come. <laughs> you don't get anything, Red Eye. You just get a kick in the ass. <laughs> yeah. You, you realize we can hear out. you, right? <laughs> you realize I wasn't keeping quiet, right? <laughs> You didn't almost get murdered by the girl you thought was hot. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> didn't I kill her? Yeah, I thought I thought um, going on a date with her would be funny because you liked her, and then she tried to kill me. So I appreciate you, funny. Red Eye. Well, I, at least somebody does. I think you're amazing. Now, can you please go hack some shit so we know what we're doing? <laughs> okay, I am going to call for the first roll of the night. Red Eye. Okay. Please roll yes. a, ten, a ten cider plus your intelligence stat plus your library search skill. Um, if you're using your agent, uh, you can add two points to that roll. And your difficulty is going to be... Uh, Merely a 13, but the higher you get, the more info you get. Okay, so it was intelligence plus my library skill. Library search. I can't see nothing with my goggles on. Hold on. Okay, six. So it's intelligence plus my library search plus... Whatever I roll on the 10. Yes. Fifteen. All right. That beats the 13. You get the basics. Plus maybe a little bit more. Um... That's uh, not high enough for you to get a floor map of the place, but uh, you do get the location, and uh, you do get all of the public details and uh, a couple of the rumors about what this party is going to be like. Let me upload to Discord a photo. There we go. Okay, up in uh, wine country in Napa Valley, about an hour uh, northwest of Night City, uh, there is a old B&B mansion that was being uh, renovated by some reclaimers. 
uh, reclaimers are uh, the nomads who decide to settle down. Um, they uh, go into these abandoned ghost towns and uh, set up shop, try to rebuild the place, make new communities. Um, Sav Oil has rented out this site for a corporate party. Uh, there are supposed to be some bigwigs from Moscow flying in. The security is going to be manned by Sav Oil's own corporate army. This is a black tie event. Um, it's beginning tomorrow evening around sundown. Uh, the invitations are issued digitally. And uh, the rumor is that everyone who shows up uh, is going to be issued a pair of smart goggles because the festivities are going to be interactive. And it's going to include a uh, virtual component. This does not include the wait staff, though, does it? Uh, the wait staff is um, hired out uh, smaller companies. There are a lot of them, like a dozen. And uh, it would be, uh, that does look like a weak point in the security. <clears throat> However, there is no public transportation going there and back. You're either going to have to drive yourselves or you're going to have to get somebody to drive you. Hmm. Like hiring a combat cab. Is our limo ready? Yes, it is. You can drive yourselves. And a limo would fit in with the... Yeah, with the... but if we're showing up as wait staff arriving in a limo, how bad is we that going just park, to stick out? We could, park, we could park like a few blocks away. Probably the, the best bet. Unless okay. it's an old limo. Now, this limo has a cannon on the top, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that you <laughs> attached the grenade launcher. Uh, yes, it does. So we have to Which park a few blocks away. Night city. It's not unheard of. <laughs> yeah, we'll park a few blocks away. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we want to blow up the building and just take whatever doesn't blow up. But we might destroy the the vodka. So that that that's last sometimes, last resort. Sometimes it's a good, and sometimes it's a shit. What do you want from me? That's a uh, plan Z. Uh huh. Z. <laughs> that's plan Zara. Okay. Do you know any fixers who you can turn to to uh, get you some catering uniforms? Would, uh, mm -hmm. my okay. blowing the dust off yeah. the character sheet. Mm -hmm. I don't have any friends written down, which makes sense. <laughs> Would that be Waldo? Waldo. Oh, Kilroy. Yeah, no. Okay, never mind. That's not, that's not Waldo. All right, that's not, that's All not right. who I want. Me. I don't remember. I don't remember Waldo. Was there a Waldo? Yeah, uh, but that's okay. Kilroy. Notes. That's Kilroy, so. Oh, oh, I renamed the NPC then, didn't I? Yes, you did. Okay. Should have gone with Waldo. That was a better name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you know any fixers, Cavalry? No. It's like you can make your own uniforms. Could do that. Otherwise, I heard is I hear Zara is really good at knitting. Shannon's really good at knitting. Zara wouldn't be caught dead with yarn. 
is is it possible that one of the caterers uh, happens to be um, being used uh, from the Sterling Hotel? If you spend the luck point, the answer is yes. I will spend the luck point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I, I can reach out to uh, to, to to Vivian and and and, and see if uh, she might be able to help us. No, Vivian, we don't know who murdered your daughter. Is it Vivian, <laughs> the older sister? Uh huh. Yeah. What was the mom? That was the colonel. That's right. Yeah. Abigail. Sorry, red eyes. Red eyes just not paying attention. He's just. She's just uh, trying to get slicing a plan put together. Do you think you should tell her the truth or should we tell her that we've fallen on hard times and we need a job? Okay, tank girl. <laughs> um, we tell her... I, I, I uh, wouldn't be able to lie to her. So we don't let cavalry come in with us when yeah. we talk yeah that's right navarro officer navarro had the uh, crush on vivian didn't he so <laughs> maybe you could tell her the truth and just give her a super good dicking and she'll do what we need i i i, I haven't even gotten up to bat yet <laughs> well they have pills for that cavalry <laughs> you're gonna be fine well, the that, 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 Pretending that, I'm not listening. La, 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 la. <laughs> that, that, that's not the problem. It's meaning that she she hasn't given me the really the, the time of day in regards to that as of oh, yet. Oh, well, consent is key, so... Cavalry, cavalry, I... all you gotta say is nice shoes wanna fuck. <laughs> Does that work on I... you, Red Eye? No, but I heard it works on Vivian. <laughs> Perhaps we should let Calvary handle this one since he's closest to Vivian. Or you could go up to the, to her and say, want some dick? <laughs> your, your call, Calvary. Yeah, now I'm invested. I, I, I want to know what you, I want to know what uh, your pickup line is. Oh, Character building! <laughs> You got game or not, Cavalry? I don't think Cavalry's going to go fuck her. It's just an idea. I got it. I got it. Cavalry, you can say, Hi, Vivian. The Cavalry has arrived. <laughs> and is standing full attention. Oh, my goodness. Okay, you do not get the bonus <laughs> from the complimentary skill. <laughs> <laughs> the help you're receiving from your teammates is working against you. <laughs> <laughs> that was the point. <laughs> I trust that he knows better, and he's not as classless as we are. And he will be respectful of the woman he is um, interested in. <laughs> Well, after all, I am a uh, in my early twenties, late teens, right? I just don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get paid. I'm immature because I'm I'm a young adult. <laughs> she just don't give a shit. Just don't give a shit. <laughs> so, cavalry do the opposite of everything we said, and you should be pretty fine. much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we are an hour in. Uh, does anybody need to take a break? Um, I do, yes. Okay. We're going okay. to be right back for about five, ten. Five works. Okay. We'll be right back.
All right, we are back. Welcome Great. back, Twitch. Everything came out. We all okay. had to take a piss. Yes. <laughs> We're old people playing cyberpunk. <laughs> You're only as old as you feel. I feel real fucking old. Which means I'm old. ancient. <laughs> well, today I don't feel so young. Every time I see that Titanic meme where she's like, it's been 84 years. <laughs> I'm like, me too, lady, me too. <laughs> 84 years since I said, get off my door, you fuck. <laughs> <sighs> There's only room for one person on this here door. I need to use you as a rudder, you son of a bitch. I'll <laughs> never let go, Jack. Oh, get off of me. Get out of here. <laughs> so anyway, is Calvary going to go boing Vivian? <laughs> no. Put the wood to her, Calvary. Boink, boink, as he's walking out the door. Boink, boink, boink. <laughs> <laughs> You two are so immature. <laughs> Officer Navarro. All right, so what I'm going to do is since I'm going to try her number in my agent, see if her agent is <laughs> still accepts my, accepts my contact. Yes. All right. He's going to say, I want your dick. We're not there anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sure he would so not make this phone call with us anywhere near him. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> not with us going. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ooh, ooh, daddy. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> So I'm does dead. it go to a messaging service or does 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 she actually pick up? She picks up. Oh wow! You were able to get through. Hi, hi, Vivian. This is Cavalry. I, I don't know if you remember me from uh, when we we I'm helped uh, your family. His, his agent. Oh fuck! <laughs> and I'm patching it over to Zara. <laughs> I remember you had already done that in the session zero. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's canon. <laughs> <laughs> so I was wondering if you might be able to to, to help us out. Roll me a ten sider, please. We're fucked. Yep, As... yep, I am. Because this one's going to matter, which means I'm going to end up rolling low. <laughs> well, with that attitude. Eh, not too bad. I rolled a six. Add your cool plus conversation. So add zero. Your right. <laughs> <laughs> cool is stat on the, okay. on the top of the character sheet. Conversation is a skill. All right. Conversation. 16. Very nice. Very nice. It needed to be the 20, so we failed. You ain't getting none. I probably needed a 25. <laughs> Vivian tells you... Um, uh, yeah, you were able to uh, make some headway with Vivian. Um, did you decide that you're uh, telling her what you're doing, or did you decide to be obtruse about that? There's, there's no way I'd be able to. I mean, yes, I may be a Sorry. some mostly, mostly honest lawman. Uh, the, the, this is one of those instances that I wouldn't have been able to be dishonest. So. <laughs> Especially if my character wanted to have any type of chance in the future. So. Zara! Zara! Right. <laughs> oh. I wouldn't know, but that's uh, mean. <laughs> Vivian knows about this event. Uh, she, she received an invitation. She wasn't planning on going. Hmm. 
Well, we're 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 we got a bit of a a job, um, and we figured that the the easiest way to to get there was to impersonate some of the uh, serving uh, crew, and we were wondering if you'd be amicable to helping us out in in that uh, aspect. I'm going to elbow Red Eye and be like, amicable. <laughs> Look at me with my fancy words. <laughs> I say, with her being high class, I had to break out the thesaurus. <laughs> <laughs> thesaurus. <laughs> 16 was more than adequate for this purpose. Um, yeah, she, you, you talk her into loaning you some uniforms into loaning you some catering uniforms. Oh, I thought uh, he was going to talk the, her into uh, something else. With the Sterling Hotel uh, logo embroidered on them. All right, so that means I'll be trying to grab a couple of uh, top-shelf bottles for, for her. <laughs> a case. We're going for a case. <laughs> we are going for a case. We're, we're, we're going to go for as much as we can stuff in that <laughs> that, that false bottom God uh, yes. cart. Is that really all you need? Um, just to borrow some, just to borrow three uniforms? Go for it! Do it! <laughs> <laughs> do it! You can do it all night long! <laughs> I'm serious. Did you hear anything in the background there? <laughs> it must be on your side. Uh, it must must be. I give him shit, but I am trying to be quiet to not be a complete <laughs> asshole. Um, oh, don't worry. Uh, I've got that covered. <laughs> <laughs> And then some. <laughs> True story. True story. Uh, uh, would you be interested in dinners in, at some point in the future? <laughs> you rolled a 16? Yeah, let me roll something real quick. Uh, yes. Yes, she would. I'll I'll, I'll stand shit, up there works. and start doing like a bit of a happy dance and <laughs> I'll kind of like two thumbs up to him like good job. She's gonna okay. be a valuable asset for when we need more things later. <laughs> Even a squirrel finds a nut, I guess. <laughs> oh, cool! I there was a uh, dating in Night City supplement that was put out on the Artelsorian website, and I'm going to use that soon. <laughs> <laughs> More tables to roll on. Table. Okay, so... <laughs> um, all right, you've got a date. Uh, obviously, it's not for tomorrow night, because you got plans for tomorrow night. Um, maybe yeah, uh, the night after shit. tomorrow. That if you're sounds still alive. good. <laughs> if he is, I'm getting the fuck out if anything goes wrong. <laughs> okay. Okay, you've got a plan. Uh, you've got the tools that you need uh, in the form of the uniforms. You've got a ride. And um, is everybody okay with uh, moving forward to tomorrow night? Uh, yep. So yeah, let, let's 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 uh... real quick before we do that. <laughs> yeah. I hate to give the GM ideas, but I also don't want to arrive to the evening completely fucked. How are we getting the false bottom cart? Attention to detail. Look at her go. I don't want to show up at the place and be like, "Well, we forgot the plan A." <laughs> Um, well, that would be just par for the course with our group. So when you pick up the uh, uniforms, um, you can uh, say, oh, there was supposed to be a cart, too. I'll take that one right there. Okay. And then just have a long <laughs> tablecloth. Yep. Well, and, Lynn Anderson. Well, you've got a day to work with. 
Okay. So, yeah, you can tell me whether you try to uh, build a false bottom into it. I think as long as we have a long tablecloth. You could put, install a whole Faraday cage so that it can't be scanned if you wanted to. <laughs> Do I, I have the skills for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't do it, but it can be done. At least he's honest. At least he's honest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? That reminds me. What weapons are you bringing in? Well, I wanted to bring in my bow with the sniper scope. But if we're not taking a cart in, I don't know how I'm going to get that in there. And that's the only weapon I have. Yeah, you can you can bring the cart in. I think that that's the whole purpose of the cart. Then I would like to store my bow underneath. All right. And if okay, I can't yeah. wear my armor in, I want to also stow that. That was going to be my next question. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't think that any of you guys have armor that you're going to be able to wear underneath the caterer's uniforms. Um, maybe not even my vest. Uh, but I'd make bet you're gonna need a conceal roll for that. The I got vest, a yeah. cat okay. suit type thing. You can, you can you can wear the vest underneath. What about my cat suit? Oh. Uh, Yes, you could do that, but not the long jacket. Yeah, I'll stow my jacket because I got to look fucking cool, but I'm wearing mm -hmm. my cat suit. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, then this is what I'll give you guys. Um, you can have your armor protection for your bodies, but not your heads. Okay. So, yeah, okay. I am for... Um, for for me, I was going to stow my my duster in the in the cart, uh, along with my heavy assault rifle, and then uh, my carry my is, heavy pistol. Where are we going to okay. stow red eye? You can't. How you tall are you? Can't you stow all your items like we're doing and wear a outfit in? And then when we're trying to get out, I'll be like. That's why your shit's stowed. Your virtuality goggles are uh, do allow you to see the meat world out around you. That's the advantage of the augmented reality. Can Red Eye stay outside and... You look suspicious, yes. You're correct about that. But uh, you will be able how to about, see where you're going. How about I find a vantage point or I try to break in and try to see... How about I stay out and hack and and I will hack outside and try to find a blueprint of the building to give you a way out. And then if that you works. need to get in, you can hack an entrance point we can open. <clears throat> yep. I like to fly by the seat of my pants. This planning shit sucks. <laughs> Well, as they okay. always say, the the any every plan made, uh, uh, how's how's it go? Every plan, uh, uh, best um, laid plans of mice and men. Well, well, is that where it's from? Otherwise, I was thinking of like uh, no, no plan survives first contact, or something along those lines. I was thinking if there's a plan, I'll forget it's gonna it. fail, <laughs> and if I remember it, I'll ignore it. <laughs> no plan survives first contact with us. That was Morthos's uh his uh flaw. If there's a plan, I'll forget it. And if I remember it, I'll ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But uh for Red Eye's knowledge, yes, there will be a net architecture architecture that you can net dive into you're gonna have to get close you're gonna have to get within about uh 50 yards so wi-fi range okay gonna have to turn that rgb hot pink off go ninja <laughs> stealth oh how early bitches. do you guys show up 
Do we know what time staff is showing up? Probably within an hour before open, correct? Discuss it. I'm going to shut a door. <laughs> a window will open. Okay, so... Yeah, I think I think an hour beforehand would probably be doable with the staff. Because, I mean, if the staff has been there prepping things and whatnot, and we show up right when everything starts, they're going to be like, where the fuck were you? And they might have an extra eye on us. Well, since the Sterling Hotel was actually going to be doing some of the catering, wouldn't they have had a scheduled as to when they would have needed to arrive and... Um, and to deliver stuff or start setting up stuff. And let me roll a die here. Uh, two hours before. And. So, 6 p.m., 1800 hours. Are we still streaming for you guys? Okay, yeah. My iPad's yeah. shitty. <laughs> we still, we st I have, I have the Twitch up. We're still good. Oh, Nick dropped by. <laughs> no, that was me. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's just Arky. Nick. It's, it's just Arky. <laughs> Man. Man. You're trying to confuse Meh. me. And there's no challenge in it. <laughs> Meh. So, Calvary, uh, maybe you should do the talking when we arrive as wait staff. Oh, boy. <laughs> Can you not lie? No, he can't. He's a Boy Scout. Okay, I'll do the talking. It, 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 it's not that I can't lie. I can't. I'm just not very good at it. I will do the talking, <laughs> and I will try not to be myself. Yeah, leave the talking to the borderline cyber psycho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she doesn't have too much humanity left, so. <laughs> Mine's almost gone. Not quite as close as Zara, but I'm almost there. All right, so you're driving a limo um, through the uh, North California wasteland. And um, you pull off uh, this old cracked uh, asphalt beaten up road going over a hill and you come into a valley that is in the process of being restored and you're seeing green for the first time. Oh. As all what is this green? The, yeah, they are grape orchards. Special designed by Biotechnica. To, uh, of course, Corpo to grow slime. in this uh, really badly polluted, uh, drought-stricken area. Guys, if we need to escape back this way, maybe we should grab a bushel or two, because I bet those sell for a pretty penny. <laughs> I like your thinking, Z. Down in the valley, there's a small town um, split up into uh, square uh, city blocks, uh, mostly filled with uh, dilapidated homes like caved-in roofs and what have you. There are a few uh, black SUVs that are cycling around through these streets. Uh, these are the Saab Oil uh, Corpo Police. They are running off media and any nomads who were in the area. And you get to, and then you can see right in the center of the valley is this green house that has been moved to its current location. It was called the Green House or Zeleny Dom in Russian, although I'm now that I say it out loud for the first time, I'm probably badly mispronouncing that. Uh, there is one small aerial drone that is circling around the building. And there is a 
a circular driveway out front uh, where guests can be let off. There is an entrance uh, through an open fence in the back where all of the caterers and gardeners are coming in. Um, it looks like there's a lot of activity being done by a lot of employees here. Well, hustle and bustle is good for us. Yep. There's also a landing platform in the middle of the circular driveway that's been cleared for uh, air cars, aerodynes to land. That's how most of the guests are going to be arriving. <laughs> and there's a stage that's being built in the backyard also. Hey, Calvary, can I steal one of these air cars? What was that red eye? I didn't, I don't, I don't think I heard what you said. That's what I thought. You've given me the okay to steal the car. <laughs> I can't Just wait drive. to rob these people blind. Just drive in the limo. Not me. <laughs> we'll give it to old man River. He's driving. <laughs> Slow down. You're going like a bat out of Hades. <laughs> Why, why, why is the needle up past that ten? <laughs> I'm in the back acting Slow down, like I'm you're going too fast. Important. I can get out and walk faster than this park? old man. <laughs> Where does old Jesus. man River Park is <laughs> limo? I think I saw my grandma run by, and she's dead. <laughs> I wish I had a grandma. Oh, Aww. my family's dead. <laughs> Grandmas are overrated. <laughs> Where is, say, is, is Red Eye, are you going to be able to get within 50 yards and not be noticed? Are we within 50 yards of the building? Depends on where you park. You talked about parking a couple of blocks away. Right. So I need to find a place that is uh, really close to the building, but inconspicuous. If you're stealthy, I don't think anyone's going to notice you sneak by. If you just keep an eye on security... They're the only ones watching out for people. All the rich think that they're invincible, so they won't be watching for you or us. Let's see, once right, you get where close enough, then wouldn't you be able to... In my old man river... Mm-hmm. Not. We're the only male character here, so I'm guessing yes. <laughs> <laughs> Not that much older than you. <laughs> All right, so. Of oil corpo security uh, that's uh, outside the building uh, looks like this. I just posted in the Discord. They're armored up. They have. Uh, Small SMGs, like uh, the medium SMG, not the heavy SMG. And uh, there are a couple of them on the driveway, uh, waving cars in. And there's one of them at the back gate, waving cars in. All right. So I'm going to hop out and try to find a good spot to hide. Okay. I Good thing assume, I'm not lit up lit up like a Christmas tree. I would assume we need to go in the back. Can we get yeah. to the back from where we are? Yes. Uh, the gate's been open uh, specifically for the uh, vendors. So. Okay. What kind of so, yeah, buildings or outbuildings are there 
that we would be able to hide the or park the the beast in. Uh, on the spe- on this specific lot, um, anything like that has been cleared away. Uh, it's basically just lawn with a few trees and a uh, uh, surrounded by an old ivy covered fence. But uh, immediately across the street, yeah, there are uh, burnt out houses uh, with det- with uh, attached garages. So if are the is the help parking in this field in the back? Yeah, they're driving their delivery vans right in right in through the back gate. Okay, um Calvary, I think if we just go park back there, I can pull it off. If they question us. I think we'll be fine. We're gonna look weird walking up the block when all the help is parking right over there, don't you think? And I would have thought, too, that our uh, cannon wasn't just mounted permanently outside, that it would have been like some sort of suicide doors or something like that that would have opened up to to pop the, the, the grenade launcher up. Okay, yeah, it could work like that. Even if it doesn't, I have a cover story. <laughs> right. It's water cannon. <laughs> <laughs> For riot control. <laughs> I'm confident it'll work because I'm Zara. All right. I'm going to okay. put your trust in you, Zara. Don't let me down. He's uh, radio- radioing to Red Eye. Uh, how- get a plan two in place. Get a plan two in place. <laughs> uh, d- 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 did we have a plan oh, C? Stop. We may need to go to that or D. <laughs> stop touching your ear. <laughs> <laughs> the rent a cop uh, stops the limo and signals for you to roll down the window. I I I buzz the window down. And I'm in the passenger right. seat, leaning forward, going. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. <laughs> and he says, "Uh, hello. What brings you here?" But he says it in Russian. Uh. Dostvadanya? <laughs> no, I don't say that. Do English? I, do I know Russian? Anglais? Zara does, yes. Espanol? <laughs> I know Russian? Yeah, Zara's a Russian name. Okay. Wodka. We are here to work event. We have been hired. Oh, God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Give me Zia. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Give me Zia. We have been hired to work event, and unfortunately, we run a little late, so uh, we ask that we come in and park to work for the rich people. You also work for the rich people, no? And I'll, I'll, uh, I'll point to the, the Sterling Hotel <laughs> logo on the uniform. <laughs> 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 Do you know Moose and Squirrel? Moose and Squirrel. Do we not all know Moose and Squirrel? In Russia, Moose is and Squirrel the, know is, you. Is, <laughs> is that the squirrel with the giant nut sack? I just keep smiling. <laughs> all right. First in joke of the night. We got that out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> the guard smiles and waves you in. I will okay. uh, say some Mother Russia line. <laughs> Mother Russia salutes you and your Be family. Beware of, of squirrel with giant nut sack that gr- drags on ground. <laughs> <laughs> and then as we pass, I'll elbow Calvary and be like, told ya. <laughs> I'll just let out a breath that I didn't realize I was holding. <laughs> At least she didn't say, oh, it's me, Zara. (laughs) Hi. Hi. We'd like to come through now. We're not supposed to be here. Work for Uh, half an hour making a plan and then be like, hi, it's me. (laughs) (laughs) We're here to steal your vodka. (laughs) 
But uh, when you park the limo and get out, uh, you are approached by a man in a cheap suit, and uh, he identifies himself as uh, the head of ground security. And he asks, um, excuse me, are you making a delivery here? Uh, sir, we were oh, hired for there. this event. Delivery make you. He's talking in English, right? Uh, yeah, he doesn't even have a Russian accent. Sir, we were hired by this event by, I assume I know the hotel, whatever. Sterling Hotel. The Sterling Hotel to work this event. Sterling Hotel. That's all I'm going to say. Oh. 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 Very Good well, job, then. Good job, C. Good job, C. Just be on your best behavior. And, C, tell uh, that guy to eat your fucking ass with a spoon. I'm just going to give him that kind of off smile again and be like, we wouldn't have it any other way, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, he speaks into his... Uh, uh, he acts like he's only paying half attention to you, and he's paying most of his attention to somebody talking in his ear. Can I and hack said, his earpiece? Said, <laughs> hmm... While this is happening, I'll do my next. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's. I'm going to break out my rando matrix Ooh. and see if this is going to be hackable. If anybody is listening to this, uh, I, nobody's going to listen. If anybody is ends up listening and wondering what the hell I'm doing, I am playtesting a solution to the uh, old argument about uh, whether or not uh, cyberware and personal equipment should be hackable in Cyberpunk Red. That is a very uh, hotly debated topic. So my oh shit, idea I didn't is, know that. Well, Fuck, that's awesome. Sometimes. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. I made a chart for it. Uh, so, uh, Arky, please roll me a ten-sider. Okay. Just a normal, just, that's it? Yep. Yep, straight ten-sider. Six. Ten Six. Okay. All right. Uh, yes, it is hackable. Um, this is, this guy is the type of target that uh, in your lingo you call a cracked shell turtle. Uh, his cyberware and his gear are exploitable, which I don't remember how I defined that. Uh, there is a specific and exploitable glitch in the target's cybernetics firewall. Uh, the glitch is known to the Netrunner community. Uh, specialized exploit hack software can hack it and take control of the cyberware without needing to make a dice roll for backdoor. Uh, the roll to control the items and da -da 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 isn't needed. Uh, target's other gear and external stuff is firewalled as per normal backdoor net action rules. So, uh, short story is yes, you can use your interface. So when I do that, can I patch it through to everybody else's com or just me? Yes. Uh, you can absolutely do that. Okay. And I'm going, and I'm going to roll for a random... Target number for you. And, ooh. Okay. You only need to beat a 10 for your interface role in order to get through his password protection. Okay. 
is that is that intelligence or is that the uh, no, int it's a plus your interface stat, which I believe is a five. It is a five, a big old five. I had to beat a ten. Yeah, you have to beat the ten. I got an eleven. That works. Okay. <laughs> you have you have gotten inside of uh, all of his uh the uh little uh network that he's running through his suit. Uh you have uh you are able to eavesdrop in on his earpiece or you can even shut it down. Well, guess what, guys? I'm on my way to being the most famous net runner in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and I patch it through to cavalry and Zara. Now he's going to be ordering like pizza or something. So here we go. He's actually talking about, uh, Someone about another NPC who is in the basement of the house. And I need to look up that NPC's name. What did I call that guy? That guy. Turtle Dove MacGyver. <laughs> it's a Ukrainian name. Up. Yakov. Is there a C is there a Seymour Butts? <laughs> Timor. A, a Phil McCracken. <laughs> wasn't he one of the... Wasn't, wasn't, wasn't Timor one of the uh, main devil uh, demons of the <laughs> pits of hell? <laughs> so he's, he's good. Well, he is. <laughs> <laughs> What's he saying about yeah, Timor? Yeah, they're talking about little Timmy, and uh, they said, "Oh, Timmy. Uh, Timmy is he is still he's still in the basement. Uh, we don't, I don't. Uh, did anybody uh, remind him that his presentation needs to be ready when the CEO arrives? Yes, of course we reminded him. But it's Timor. He's he's always a problem. He's always late. Somebody needs to go give give him a kick in the ass." And uh, Mr. Hardcastle says, yeah, I'll take care of that personally. Uh-oh. <laughs> and he goes down to the, into the basement to bully Timor. And you are now within the range of the uh, houses net. The house is running its own net archi architecture. Um, people at the back door are handing out uh, smart glasses to everyone who is there because the ground, f because the lowest entry level of the net architecture is uh, transmitting uh, information uh, for all of the guests and employees. And then as you go higher up in the architecture, you're getting um, more defenses, and you can see that there is a uh, control point for the flying drone that's higher up in the architecture. That's all that you can see from the, from the outside. You have not net, you did not net dive into it yet. All right, I'm going to net dive into it. While you're doing that, Zara and I should probably set our cable or our uh, our our rolling table up. Yeah, I just assumed we were getting ready to look like we were working until the opportunity arose. 
As it boots up, it says, Ready Player One. (laughs) Okay, the first floor of this architecture um, is an environment that is being uh, broadcast to all of the party guests. Um, It um, edits out uh, some of the uglier features, like the burnt-out houses that you can see peak that you can see uh, peeking out over the fence, and it's replaced those with a uh, with the trees of a Russian forest. And uh, as you're walking around, it uh, sensors for you anything um, any uh, body fluids that you might see during the party, like if uh, somebody vomits on the ground. Uh, it'll pixelate that for you, so it's not going to bother you. <sighs> I'm glad you went with vomit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> if you... There is a virtual dial um, that's uh, hanging in your periphery vision, and as you turn the dial, uh, you can uh, change how much the uh, virtual environment takes over. You can hear more... Uh, you can hear uh, the background music gets louder as they're playing uh, classical Russian music, and uh, the appearance of the house begins to take on more and more of a uh, something out of a, a fairy tale or a Russian uh, picture book. Are these Russian people? Did I miss that? Duh. Savoy. Yeah. Oh. So they're probably playing Tchaikovsky. Okay. Ding, 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 ding. Or drop. Ding, 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 ding. Sov oil stands for Soviet or S- Soviet. Mm. Yes, it does. This is the part where I fall asleep. <laughs> 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 Straight no chaser. Yeah, we are getting copyright. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, that's what's uh, being broadcast to you. Uh, there is no security on this floor of the net architecture. Uh, you go up uh, uh, one floor, and uh, you can actually look, and you can see crawling on the side of the building is a uh, black ice. Um, it's a type of defensive program that looks like a scorpion. Do we know what type of defenses? Like, is it just there if this place gets attacked, or is it, like, actively scanning for anything? Typically, what black ice programs will do is they will um, attack any intruders who go in to go up to that floor of the net architecture. So each floor is like a level of user access. So only red eye can see that in the net frame. Yeah. Okay. Not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> We just see nice ivy crawling up the, uh, right. growing up the, the walls. And I'm actually in a very good mood because this feels like home. Zara, okay, so... you can smell the vodka on the wind. Oh, fuck vodka. yeah, I can. Vodka nearby. Her Zara senses are tingling. <laughs> I will like take my cart and set it up with some hors d'oeuvres and act like I'm going to the bar to grab drinks <clears throat> to have like a tray of champagne or whatever the hell they're serving or where I it obviously is the vodka coming from like a bar area where is it coming from uh, you haven't been inside yet, and uh, Red Eye has not found the uh, floor plans yet. 
But if you want to just go in through the back door where everybody else is going in. Yeah, let's do that. Let's recon while Red Eye's doing her thing. I'm happy okay. to be your back door man. I'm <laughs> dirty, please. Unfortunately, I think that we probably are going to have to actually do some work at this thing, Cavalry, which bums me out. Eh. Okay. It's all good. You go on. Uh, you go in through the back door, and uh, you see that uh, seats are being uh, established, and a uh, small stage is being set up next to a dried-out uh, swimming pool in the back, which does not look dried out in augmented reality. <laughs> Uh, but uh, there is a back door. You go through the back door, and you go into the kitchen. I just posted a map on the uh, Discord channel. Okay, so, okay, the kitchen, I'm assuming, is the white squares? Yes. All right. Yeah, and... Uh, People were doing uh, double takes at the limo, but um, nobody seems to be paying you two guys in your um, uh, white uniforms any attention whatsoever. Not even the security guys are giving you a double, are staring at you. Not even red kind of eye. Job. <laughs> so this just loaded. We're basically coming in at the top of the map at the gravel road. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah, I just Yeah, the white the white part is the kitchen. Okay. So I say now if I peek into the kitchen, does anyone else have carts or are they all just taking like trays and shit out to walk the floor? Uh well, you have to enter through the kitchen. And uh yeah, there are a couple of other carts there. They're being loaded up with food that's being prepared and cooked right there in the kitchen though. I want to keep my cart close by, so I'd like to take my cart in and then start loading it up like I'm I'm ready to go serve hors d'oeuvres and stuff to the rich people. <laughs> okay. Uh, what foods do you grab? Whatever they have... They here. Whatever they have set out ready to be loaded up. And then I also want to try to scope out to is the vodka in here. Okay. Uh, caviar trays it is. Yeah. This shit looks gross. I'd rather eat my sludge burger or whatever that thing was called. <laughs> I'd rather have borscht. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, you go from the kitchen in through uh, the rest of the ground floor. Uh, there's a lot... Uh, there's a library, there's a central staircase, there's some piano music that's coming from a uh, din. Uh, there's a, uh, there is a, a large dining room, a sitting room, and uh, just off the kitchen, there is a bar that has been set up inside the breakfast nook. It's at the far left side of your map that sort of half sticks out. So there's no alcohol in the kitchen. It's all being done at the bar. And the bar is being stocked uh, as you arrive. Uh, there are a couple of bartenders there who are pulling bottles out of boxes and putting them on a shelf behind the bar. <sighs> Okay, um, I want to... Calvary, are you with me or are you doing something else? Nope, I'm with you. I want to kind of, you know, do the head thing, like look over there. Boo! Boo! <laughs> There's our booze. What is going on with this camera? What camera? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Never I don't mind. see Jason, but you don't. Uh, I can still hear him. You don't see me. Ah, uh, there you are. Yeah, Maybe you kept popping in and out. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, I might have been sitting too close and my camera decided, oh, you're going to just blend into the background. <laughs> <laughs> it knew I needed to be oh. stealthy. <laughs> That's an advanced technique right there. I master that. Okay, uh, I want to get back to Red Eye. Um, are you proceeding uh, farther up the net architecture? Or are you content to stay where you are now? So did I notice uh, the black ice? Yes, you did. Okay. It's at the net level directly above you. And it's probably there to discourage any guests from wandering any deeper into the net architecture. All right, I'm going to try to go take it out so I can get deeper in. All right. Okay, are you going to try to speed past it, or are you going, are you attack? I'm going to attack it with my sword program. All right. Then I, uh, you proceed up to the next level, and uh, the way this looks like uh, in augmented reality around you is that all of the effects. Uh, that you're looking at uh, sink down into the ground and uh, the scorpion comes d- uh, floats down to your level. Wow, you're an ugly and beautiful motherfucker. <laughs> Please roll me <laughs> um, a tensider plus your interface. This is a speed roll. Going to determine who goes first. Fourteen. And by the way, uh, you guys have seen how uh, much trouble it can be to not go first in combat. It's even. It's much worse against Black Ice. You do not want to lose this role. Okay, Scorpion, and you said you rolled a 13? 14. Oh, 14. Okay. Scorpion got an 8. Initiative is yours. You have three net actions that you may perform. And uh, I mentioned previously that you can arrange your programs as you like uh, in your cyber deck. I know that you've got a sword plugged in. What are your programs? So I have an asp, an asp, and a sword. Okay. For my first three. All right. The asp takes up two slots. Okay, so I have an asp and my sword in my okay. three spots. <laughs> I have five spots, but the three of them, the first three take asp and a sword. Okay. You can double up and have two instances of a sword or two instances of the asp. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to attack it. With two uh, sword. Okay. So sword, sword, and asp. That's four slots out of your five in your cyber deck. What's your fifth right. slot? My fifth slot. This actually says I have seven, but I think I only oh, have five. Okay. No, so no, seven. I just remembered. I have seven. Okay, so it it goes asp, sword, 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 and then armor. Armor. Okay, two instances of armor, three instances of sword. Three copies. Okay, yeah, you can attack with sword three times. Every round. All right. 
and you have three net actions. So roll me an attack. D10 plus uh, your interface. 15. Scorpion's got a defense of two for a total of... Oh, yeah, that's a big hit. Okay, what does this look like? Um, how does Red Eye have this um, configured to appear? So, I'm not a fan of two-handed swords, but this one, this one is, so is this, a, this is still a speed action, right? Or, yeah, I didn't understand... So it has to be fast, right? Um, just any attack is a single net action. You got three net actions that you can All right, use. So the first before one it, before it takes any action. I take a big swing of a or I take a swing with a what looks like a katana and I go overhead Overhead strike, and I chop the scorpion's head off. Or I go to attempt to chop the scorpion's head off. Yeah, uh, does 3d6 damage to black ice programs. So, so roll that, me three six items. That would be a 10, Scott. 10. Okay, yeah, you, uh... Took off a leg and a uh, pincer, uh, but the scorpion is still alive and moving. Two more, baby. Come on, two more. Okay, second strike. Tinsider plus your interface. Eleven. You beat the scorpion again. Another 3d6 damage. <laughs> this is a very strong offense build here. That would be a seven points of damage. Um, you kill the scorpion. How does it vanish? <laughs> I sever the son of, son of a bitch it straight down the middle. I just go and split uh, it straight. By six. It. Yep. Outstanding. You have conquered the second level of this nar net architecture, and you still have a uh, net action left. You can use that to deploy one of your asps. I use that to deploy one of my asps. Okay. What orders are you giving your own uh, black ice? So it says here that I can just, it destroys a single enemy program. Yes. Uh, that's what the ass very specifically is set up to do. But black ice in general, you can tell it to uh, patrol this level or any level that you've already been. Uh, you can um, direct it to a specific target. You can... Uh... Yeah, those are your two big actions. Those are your two big right. choices, actually. So I will... Um... Command put in a command for the ASP to patrol the two levels because I cleared okay. two levels, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the yeah the first level is where um everybody wearing the smart glasses is inhabiting though. That's the fairy tale level. So yeah, you can deploy a black ASP and have them and. <laughs> And have it attack everybody that it finds. <laughs> Do we have these glasses on? That's probably going to draw some attention. 
All right, so I just want it to patrol the second level, I guess. Can I okay. tell it? Because I haven't been to the third level yet, right? So I wouldn't be able to have it patrol that. I get with you to the third level. Okay, I think I'll do that. Remember. I'll just bring it with me okay, you can to the third. Follow you around. All right. Uh, what does your asp look like? You've had it for a couple of weeks now. Uh, you've had time to uh, tool its appearance. That's a good question. I didn't even think about that. Okay, we'll get back to that. Uh, inside the house, uh, Zara and Cavalry, um, you have found the bar. What's your next move? I want to scope out the security in the area, like, scope out the scene. Okay. So essentially try to make a plan on the fly. All right. Uh, security is that there are cameras uh, all over the place. Uh, the uh, third floor is off limits. The second floor is just uh, is just bedrooms. Uh, the, the third floor is where... Um, uh, security has set up house. Uh, that's where their remote piloting that drone, which is circling around outside. Uh, you spotted a couple of ground drones, which are parked uh, outside the front door. Uh, they roll around on uh, little tires. Then you uh, see a about uh, inside, there are about uh, four uh, suit-wearing security officers. Uh, they're very obvious because they're standing at attention and staring at everybody. They stand out. So... Wearing dark sunglasses, which are not like the dark sunglasses that uh, you guys were issued as your smart goggles. I think... You do not my first you do not see the guy that you saw earlier, uh, Hardcastle. Okay. He said he was going down to the basement. You do not see him around. And I'm sorry, I've had some distraction. Is all the booze at the bar? Or we ha have we not found that yet? It looks like all of the booze is at the bar. Uh, they're starting to fill some wine glasses, though. Okay. So, so uh, I'm gonna disseminated later, but right now it's all at the bar. I'm going to kind of look at cavalry and say, I think we might need a distraction at some point this evening. Hey, I, 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 I agree. So right now, um, after let's say while I was scoping everything out, I'm walking around handing caviar out trying to act like I give a fuck about these people. Or at least care enough to be kind. <laughs> okay. But, uh, if nothing else presents itself, I'm thinking I'll probably radio Red Eye and be like, uh, got any distractions in your repertoire? I'm Russian, I'm not French. <laughs> I'm, well, and while, while she's doing that, I'm actually going to go up to the bartenders and do a little bit of inquiry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to basically ask them, say, um, I, I hope you guys have more. Seeing some of the people out, out, out in the yard, I, ugh, I don't know if this is going to be enough. I mean, do, do you guys have additional stores that you have available? Oh, don't worry, comrade. Yes, yes, we have um, uh, uh, we have more cases uh, that are uh, that are down in the basement. Okay, good. That that takes a <laughs> that 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 makes me feel a little bit at, at ease because if you guys were going to run out, I don't know, I don't know how well some of these guests would have taken it. Oh, really? I uh, we heard that uh, these uh, Californians, uh, they are light drinkers. We heard that they couldn't hold their vodka. Oh, they may not be able to hold their vodka, but that doesn't mean that they don't like to drink it. But did you not oh. know that a lot of the people here are Russian? 
Russian do not have lightweight. Okay, and uh, the bartenders give each other nervous looks and say, um, uh, I'll go get some more bottles from the basement. I, I've I've got a cart right here. I can I can go down and get some for you and bring it up to you. You look rather busy. We would be more than happy to help you with the situation. You do well, not you do not want to keep these Russians waiting. If their cup empties, there will be chaos. I speak oh, into my comm and say, you guys are that. not conspicuous at all. They look like they believe us. Okay, uh, Jason, I want you to make a persuasion roll for me. Uh-oh, we're fucked. <laughs> that is a tinsider plus your cool stat plus persuasion. All right, where's my persuasion oh. score? Okay, there it is. Or you could, sub or you could substitute com conversation if you want. Uh, Z because Zara is helping you, I want her to also make a persuasion roll, and if she succeeds, oh that's going to add an extra one point to Calvary's roll. That's ten, right? Yep. Ten cider, plus cool, plus persuasion. Eight, nine, ten. Zara's cool is not bad. Fourteen is my base. Nice. Nineteen. Okay. Nice! Alright. More than succeeded. So, uh, Jason, you get an extra one point to add to your roll. All right. And so you're going to need a 15. He got a 12. Seventeen. Oh my God! This isn't Pathfinder. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, bring um, uh, bourbon. And uh, gin and uh, whiskey. I, I I I think we have enough vodka here, but we but we need we need the everything else. Rum. Yes, whatever they've got, bring it up. All right, as much That's as we can helpful. carry, or uh, do, do you want me to leave some in reserve? Oh no no no! You won't be able to carry it at all. Just, okay. Just, bring, just grab, just grab bottles. Start bringing up. Okay. Is there any security down there that we're going to have to get past, or uh, uh, let them know that what we're doing for for you guys? Uh, they're, they're just bottles. Security doesn't care. Just go. Okay. Go. All right. We'll we'll be back. <laughs> Well, damn, security don't <laughs> care. Fuck, all right. Speaking of which, uh, the black eye security he does kind of care. Uh, what's Red Eye doing? I'm trying to get to where there is no security and we can get the hell out of here. Okay, uh, the ne next level above you, you can see, has a uh, password protection. And then the level above that has two black ices. They're rich. The password is password. <laughs> but then there's a it's but then God. there's a control node. The control node might control the drone that's flying around. Or it could control a locked door, it could control the security cameras, could be anything. But to go up to the next level, you need to get past a password. There's a firewall All right. there. So I am going to do a... See if I can do a backdoor check. Yeah, none of the software you have loaded on your cyber deck is going to help you with this role. So that is going to be a DV14. Okay. They get slightly more difficult as you go up. What are those cyberpunk so dice doing for you? They're doing all right. Um, 
So it's just a straight D10 plus the bonus I get on password checks. Uh, no, it's uh, D10 plus interface. 15 you plus get a bonus I get. For password checks? Yeah, I get a plus two. Oh, okay. Then yes, add that. Would that? Okay, I have a question. That would that would have to be on my deck, cyber deck, right? Yep. Um, I think that what you're talking about is a program. Yeah, it's a worm program. Yeah, worm program. You did not load that onto your cyber deck. Um, if you log out of the net architecture, you can swap it in. So what I'll do is... Over. Right, and I don't want to do that because we're on a heist, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> I got a 14. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my luck points... To, yes, uh, I do allow that. You do? Okay. Yes. All right, so... Yeah, the uh, uh, rules as written is that you have to declare using luck points before you roll dice, but I don't like that because it's been my experience that they just never get used that way. Okay, so I'm glad Scott is pro player. Um, <laughs> so that gives me a 15. Okay, uh, you go up another level in the uh, net architecture, and you come to a puzzle that looks like a series of Russian nesting dolls, and you have to turn the nesting doll so that it reveals a certain uh, letter, and then you open it and turn the next nesting doll, and if you don't get the combination right, it's just an infinite series of Russian dolls inside of each other. Oh, shit. But uh, your cyber deck has um, uh, state-of-the-art uh, circuitry that uh, can scan all of the possible passwords and brute force their way through. So you kind of just uh, uh, reach forward, open a nesting doll, and it shatters. And you've conquered that. That is point. why I will be the most famous net runner to ever live. <laughs> Hack the planet. <laughs> and by the way, my uh, my asp yes. looks like a titano boa. Oh, I looked that up. Big girl. It is. It was the largest snake ever found on this planet. Goodness. I watched a really cool documentary yeah, on that. that. Yeah, that's bigger than and the limo. You, <laughs> and if you look at it, that's nightmare fuel. <laughs> Even if you're not afraid of snakes, that's nightmare fuel. I have okay, to look this if you up have now. To a face down while inside augmented reality against another net runner, I'm going to give you a bonus to your face down for that. I look. I went outside the box for that bitch. I was like, biggest snake ever. <laughs> look at the skeleton. They have a one. I saw it. When I was looking at the images. It could, like, eat all of us and still be hungry. That's what I'm saying. Nightmare fuel. I don't mind snakes as long as I don't see them. <laughs> uh, my, 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 uh, like better half is petrified of them. It looks like the next level has a mixture of two types of black ice. One is anti-programs and one is anti-personnel. But you can't tell exactly what they are from here. Uh, 
without making an extra interface roll to scan ahead. Okay. Um, can I do that? Can I make an interface, another interface roll, or do I have to wait? Do that right now. Yes. D10 plus interface. Um, the DV is going to be a 14. Um, I'm going to let you all know that I love these cyberpunk dice. <laughs> I'm going to run with them until they go cold because I got a 15. Okay. All right. The two types of uh, black ice um, that are oh, lurking in wait above you are a raven and a saber tooth. So a blackbird and a big cat. Blackbird singing in the dead. Oh. Take these but broken wings and learn to fly. Let's see what's happening in the basement. Uh, are both cavalry They're in the mom's basement. I thought so. Okay. You get down stick uh you get down these uh creaky stairs and the basement is uh a solid uh concrete box and it looks except that it has a square of dirt floor in the middle of it. And it looks like there's some sort of uh robotic drill equipment half buried in the dirt there. There is a, a young uh, man uh, with uh, black circles under his eyes, and he is getting chewed out by Mr. Hardcastle. Mr. Hardcastle is just bullying him and telling him, don't you even think about embarrassing us later. This isn't just your life that's on the line. It's also my reputation. Hey, look me in the eye when I'm talking to you. How young is this boy? Uh, early 20s. 45. Oh. Uh, I'm not going to address that because I assume that Hardcastle will throw us out without any second glance. But I will... Keep an eye open to see if Hardcastle ever leaves him alone while we're down here. Looks like it's an engineer's lab down here. And uh, it also there's also a cot in the corner. It uh, looks like somebody's been living down here. Uh, however, uh, lined up against one of the wall are a bunch of old uh, barrels. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Oh, losing I think my battery. Dying. Yeah. So, do we want to cliffhanger it? The layout's okay so far. It's up to Scott. And say so we are going on nine o'clock. I don't know if that matters to anybody. We got two and a half hours, of, almost two hours and 18 minutes of content out of this. Wow. So. Honestly, I think this is a pretty good cliffy to, to leave it at, if anything, if we need to. Yeah, I think so, too. We'll give Scott a minute, though. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give him, give him a minute. I'm just... So anybody that watches... Testing, testing. We hear you. We can hear okay. you. Did I crash the OBS when my camera turned no, off? No, actually the layout no. stayed where we're at. We just see your beautiful profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weird. What the heck is my profile picture? Uh, oh, that one. Okay, my Discord. You can swab. All right. Suave as hell. 
Thank you. I take my compliments where I can get them. Um, yeah, I was just telling you, yes, you found uh, uh, crates and barrels full of booze down here. Sheesh. Um, so they were talking about leaving a cliffhanger. If we, Are you comfortable with ending it here, or how much longer do you have in this session? I am. Um, honestly, that in depends entirely on your actions uh, from this point on. Uh, <laughs> it could last another two hours. It could be over in ten minutes. Well, you know we like um, to fuck shit up. Yeah, yeah, I was going to yeah. say, we, we, so we, we may have every intention of doing, getting it done in 10 minutes, but it'll take us two hours. <laughs> Especially if I get to talk to uh, Tiamat. Timur. <laughs> Whatever the fuck his name is. Not, not Timur. Tiamat. <laughs> Timur. Timur, that's right. <laughs> Timmy. Timmy, little Timmy. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we'll just leave it there then, Scott. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'm so... fine with that. All right, it, guys. It looks like uh, my work schedule is uh, somewhat stabilized now. Okay. Let's, so, uh, um, let's close out the Twitch stream, and then we can kind of go over that stuff. Oh, the stream is still running. Yeah. So... <laughs> yes, yeah. That sounds like a great idea. <laughs> Thank you. All right. uh, anybody who watches this back, um, I know we didn't have a lot of live viewership, but if you watch it back and you want us to catch us live next time, hit that follow. Normally, this is Nick's page where sometimes he'll go live playing video games. Um, there's no schedule. If you want to catch me, I'm Ms. Direction, M I Z Z Direction. And all I am one string. All one string, no space. No space. I don't like I don't like the space. You you change the space on my logo and I'll I'll use it. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and you can find me at Arky76 here on Twitch. Um but yeah, we want to thank you. You know, we didn't get very much live viewership, but that's okay. But if you're watching this back, we want to thank you and we appreciate you for taking the time to watch our video. And uh, yeah, just remember Ms. Direction, all one word. And Arky76. And this one is Haunted Log at Haunted Log. So we will see you back here on this channel, hopefully, hopefully, in a month. So Thor, hit that yeah, bye follow. Guys. It's been Kirk. Jason. Shannon. Uh, good evening. Good Scott saying goodbye. Good night. Scott saying Scotty out. Night, guys. Bye.